What's up, bros? 2022 score football. The whole box of uh, 40 cards fed packs. These are $6.99 plus tax per uh, pack at uh, Target. In terms of parallels, we have uh, unnumbered red parallels and then uh, base dot golds number two, 225. So let's check what's inside. I have opened uh, a lot of score uh, this year, but uh, somehow I haven't uh, pulled a Kenneth Pickett rookie card uh, yet. So I guess uh, my goal for uh, this break is uh, uh, to pull a Kenneth Pickett uh, rookie card, uh, preferably, of course, and the Go Dota version number two. 225 but uh, uh personally i would be okay even with a uh, regular regular uh, rocky card and uh, yep i immediately accomplish uh, my goal well a uh, really cool uh, looking uh, card uh, the empty seats at the background uh, uh, a little bit uh, weird but at least it's uh, a pro uniform card for a very long time score only had uh, college uniform rooks and uh, this is how I read parallels uh, exclusive to uh, this uh, fat packs or value packs uh, I think uh, uh, is the official name uh, look like and uh, Aiden Hutchinson uh, I actually was hoping uh, that uh, Aiden Hutchinson uh, would become the hottest rook Uh, this year, but uh, but because uh, I'm really annoyed by how much the football hobby is dominated by quarterbacks. So having somebody in uh, other position to get uh, most of the attention, I think I uh, would be great. But uh, unfortunately, this is not uh, how football hobby uh, works. I like and. Uh, they just uh, people will just uh, chase the hottest quarterback whoever that is so i guess uh, we shouldn't be uh, too sad about it it's just uh, uh, the uh, the reality so don't we shouldn't fight uh, the town hall yeah it seems there are um, three red parallels per uh, per the fat pack uh, this celebration is also a red parallel but the only way you can see it from the text and the three uh, stripes, so it can be either three uh, base red parallels, or one of them can be an uh, insert parallel. I think uh, this is uh, an uh, Aiden uh, Hutchinson throwback rook, so throwback rooks are. Uh, uh, unfortunately in uh, college uniforms uh, which is a little bit a little bit sad I'm personally not against uh, college um, uh, uniforms in fact I'm like very much pro uh, college collecting and uh, I personally collect some of the college sets is that uh, just uh, I think uh, it would be nice to keep wow it's really uh, cool to pull somebody who like me likes to eat three times a day at their a local kfc and grow like a belly so that they cannot see their uh, penises anymore yeah it's, uh, i just uh, prefer to have uh, college and pro uniforms uh, completely i uh, completely apart Romeo Dubs, so in this uh, value pack there were three base reds. Interesting three celebration inserts in a, in a row. Barry Sanders. Yeah, one thing uh, which I like is that they have this a retired players because uh, 
I think a retail superstar is a much cooler pool than a middle of the road a veteran. Wow, I really love these boobs. Jonathan Taylor red, just added red, and uh, Aiden Hutchinson potential. This is also red, although you can only see it from the uh, shiny red on the top. Yeah, this uh, Protensio is one of my uh, least favorite inserts uh, this uh, year. Because again, it adds this college flavor to a pro product. But yeah, in general, I feel like uh, this uh, very square inserts is uh, one of the main problems why score lacks uh, the strong following some uh, low-end products in other sports have like for example hoops in uh, basketball has uh, a very strong following hot up celebration Chris Oliver throwback, I think, also in college. A uniform. Cam Newton. Mike Evans. Justin Jefferson. Chase Young. The photography I feel is also like very generic, which uh, makes uh, opening this product in a large volumes like I'm a little bit boring, but uh, I think uh, this is our uh, uh, go dot uh, number to 225. Yep, you can see the number here, 21 out of uh, 225. Pretty cool looking uh, effect uh, reminds uh, speckle in tops products uh, a little bit uh, a very uh, visually appealing occurred the only thing which i would uh, uh, prefer if uh, the number would be at the back although like uh, with this uh, go dots uh, design it's not like such a, a big problem because uh, the number can only be seen under a certain angle with uh, some other inserts it was more of a problem and we pull our Kenny Pickett throwback tops design Rocky so our second uh, Kenny Pickett uh, Rocky card uh, which I like Alvin Kamara Peyton Manning Ryan Tannehill yeah, these uh, photos which are like all like almost in the same position, like so cut uh, slightly below the, uh, below the knee. Yeah, they are, they are okay photos and uh, if uh, there would be a less base uh, in uh, this product, uh, uh, I, I would be okay with that. Wow, this is a weird photo, I guess. Uh, uh, the only way you can know that it's a pro uniform is uh, this small logo on uh, the sleeve, but I guess uh, uh, this is the only photo of him uh, they uh, managed to get in, uh, in the pro uniform. I uh, love this uh, celebration. A photo of uh, Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, I think uh, one uh, very clear uh, way uh, to improve uh, this product is uh, 
uh, to improve the photos because uh, one of the reasons for example some lower end products such as like series one and two or say uh, by upper deck or hoops by uh, panini themselves uh, is uh, relatively popular with that yeah they also have a lot of base but uh, uh, the photo quality is uh, very good and so it's uh, interesting just to open the product and uh, look on the photos in this set i cannot uh, uh, say the same unfortunately uh, photos are way way too generic and uh, uh, this uh, really uh, makes uh, yeah if you just open a blaster it's okay I can uh, pick it another throwback rook or a second yeah if you just open a blaster it's okay but if you actually try to open this uh, product in a higher volume in order to say build the set then uh, it uh, really starts starts to hurt you, and uh, you can see uh, that uh, collectors really appreciate the photo quality. For example, this new uh, Panini photogenic product uh, uh, last year had like very strong, a very strong following, uh, due to the a uh, great uh, photography or luminance. Uh, which I think is not a standalone product, but an insert in. Our Chronicles also uh, had uh, a very strong following in the beginning when it uh, was uh, introduced, uh, but uh, uh, now when the photo quality there uh, went down, like it lost some of uh, uh, some of the following, which is of course a little bit. A little bit sad, but at the, at the same time, I feel it is uh, it is deserved. Uh, at the same time, it's not clear for me what are like Panini's uh, incentives are now in uh, the product they're putting out because uh, uh, there are rumors that they will be sold uh, to uh, to fanatics. I mean, like the their card business, not their. Uh, sticker business uh, but uh, in that case I think uh, the things uh, will continue as it is uh, uh, now before uh, the sale to fanatics will be finalized and then uh, uh, because uh, uh, fanatics overpaid grossly for the licenses they I bought this licenses when uh, there was a sports card uh, bubble. Uh, so what I expected uh, that they will hike prices a lot in order to pay back for uh, the license. Uh, if uh, Panini uh, will stay, Panini card business will stay as a part of Panini. Then I expect uh, there will be a big product dump uh, before the license uh, will expire uh, similar to what we saw like for example for panini uh, hockey when their like nhl license expired in uh, 2014 or what we uh, saw for upper deck basketball where uh, when their uh, license expired in uh, 2000 uh, 2008 uh, both uh, both scenarios are not uh, uh, bo both scenarios have their advantages and uh, disadvantages uh, so for example uh, this uh, a product dump uh, by uh, panini hockey in 2014 it uh, created some uh, great products such as national treasures uh, hockey which is one of the be best hockey products i think in uh, in the history although like it uh, uh, doesn't have uh, that strong following uh, for example because uh, upper deck uh, a purist uh, 
avoid it, but yeah, I have some a very nice card cards from this product and but uh, uh, but we'll see the advantage of fanatics stay uh, taking over is that uh, we'll finally get rid of uh, all this uh, middleman blowout in steel city and uh, uh, it will uh, there will be less uh, less uh, unclear unclear pricing in the in the industry Overall, this box uh, was uh, a little bit uh, disappointing. Uh, uh, we only got uh, a one numbered uh, card for the box price of uh, over 80 bucks. This is, for example, a versus just uh, buying a hanger pack for a 9.99 plus tax and getting uh, the same one uh, numbered uh, a card. But uh, I'm glad with uh, the Kenny Pickett uh, rookie card uh, we got and uh, uh, two of uh, Kenny Pickett throwback uh, rooks.